Hi everyone, welcome back. As always, I'm Dan at Tring Shoe Repair and Key Shop. I've got a fun video for you today as we are refurbishing and resoling these Timberland boots with some sturdy Vibram units. Keep watching, see how. So once again, welcome back guys. Now let's start by talking about the job we've got. So we've got these nice Timberland Earthkeeper boots and uh, the sole is a little warm, uh, but the customer more than anything uh, just wants to upgrade them, make them a bit more rugged. So we are replacing the soles with these Vibram units. They're the Rockier in natural and they are gonna be fantastic for this. These boots also have a foam midsole. So we're actually going to take that out uh, at the customer's request, replace it with a leather midsole. That's just gonna make it more comfortable and more last, long lasting. It's really just an upgrade. And to finish, we're going to clean up and refurbish the uppers. So let's get cracking. All right, so let's get started. We've got our boot on the last here. I'm just gonna start uh, taking our outsole off. So I'm just taking a knife. And I'm just cutting right between the outsole and the midsole so we can separate the outsole away from the midsole. Now, there's no stitching on this boot, it's all glued, so we need to be careful that we're not going to pull away any of the uh, mock welt. So this is why we cut around the edge to release it somewhat. Okay, so there's our outsole off, down to that foam midsole. And uh, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I said that the customer has requested that we upgrade his midsole to a lever. So we're going to do that. Now, as this is all just glued together, what we have there is what's called a mock welt. And uh, that's not stitched on, it's just glued on. So it's gonna be very tricky to take this foam midsole off um, by hand. So what I'm going to do is just pop over to the machine and we're just going to whip it off with the sanding band. Okay, so there he is. Our guy's down to his footbed, had the midsole taken out. Now, before we just put the new midsole on, there's the tiniest little dip in there. So, what I want to do is just put a smidgen of cork filler in there. Now, this shoe doesn't have a cork layer, obviously, but there's no harm just plugging up some uneven gaps of cork filler. And this is just gonna make sure that everything feels completely flat, comfortable and level from the inside. Okay, so the next order of business is we've got our rubbing alcohol. Not to be confused with drinking alcohol, unfortunately. But uh, we've got this just to run around the plastic portion of the shoe prepare it for our primer and glue. Right. 
Okay, my lovely people. Now, I've just let the uh, rubbing alcohol evaporate a little bit, and we're moving on to primer. <laughs> now, we need this primer to just ensure, well, we need to, to make sure that the contact adhesive adheres to this plastic material. So, we're just putting our Tech 10 on, making sure we coat every single bit so there's no gaps that don't stick. Now we really make, need to make sure we get the adhesive right on this because I say it's not a stitch chew, uh, just like a lot of rubber units. So the glue really needs to stick like wet on water. So I'm gonna get a coat of this on and then let it cure for uh, 30 minutes. This is 30 minutes on the tin. And however, I like to give it a couple of coats over the course of an hour. So we'll let that first one go off. So that's 30 minutes and you guessed it, layer two. I do want to be a little bit careful here that uh, you know, some people are really messy with this stuff and glue and it's okay. But you don't want to be careful that you don't get any uh, solvents or glue on the uppers. So it can stain it, can be hard to get off. I mean. Things happen, splashes happen, but if we can help it, let's avoid it. So that's our second coat. Give it another 30 minutes and then we can move on to the glue. All right, so that's been a good while letting the primer cure. So now we can work at putting our midsole in. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm not even ready. Um, right, so we've got our cured primer on our shoe. And here's our new midsole cutout. It's just a strip of leather, thinner than a regular sole, but uh, thick enough to give us some nice cushion. So, we're gonna take our contact adhesive and apply a layer to the shoe on top of the primer. Now, because this sole is just a glued sole, we're getting glue everywhere. On a leather sole, we might not necessarily put it in the middle to save pulling the cork out, but on this one, we want the glue everywhere. So we're going to do one coat, let it dry, and then do a second coat, just to double up on the stickiness. Okay, now we can work at getting it on the midsole. Okay, that's it all on there. I don't need to show you the second coat. So what I'm gonna do is after this is bone dry, I'm gonna pop it in the uh, infrared heat lamp to activate the glue again, and then we can press it together. Okay, so he's nice and hot. So we can get our midsole on. Now another advantage to leather midsoles is they're way easier to stick to. So uh, when we're putting on a thick, heavy duty unit, it's much better to glue it to leather than to a foam midsole. Now he's all pressed on, you can see the midsole's way too big, so we've just got to cut off this excess. It's starting to get a little busier now we're out of lockdown. How was everybody else's lockdown? Let me know in the comments how bored you were. I'll tell you one thing, it was very quiet here at work. Okay, so our midsole's on. It is stuck, it's dry, it's fully secure, 
Well, it's not fully secure. What I'm saying is for the cement to fully harden and cure, um, it does take 24 hours. So the customer could go out and wear this now and it would be fine, but it's the end of the day now. So I'm gonna leave this overnight, let it fully cure. So we've got a real solid bond and then continue with the sole. So we will fast forward to tomorrow. Okay, good morning, we're back. So let's continue with the job. Okay, so now it's the fun bit, putting the meat and potatoes, our unit, onto our boot. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, we're using these Vibram Rockier units, which are really cool units. Really tough, cool color as well. So we need to get our contact adhesive on there. So now that the midsole has had a good 17 hours to cure, we can get our glue on the bottom side of it and then once we're done with that we get a nice layer on the top sole Okay, same principle as the midsole, two coats, let it dry for about 15 minutes and then heat it up in the heat lamp and work at sticking it together. All right, here we go, nice and hot. Time to get our unit on. Okay, now, obviously we need to make sure this is nice and straight. Everything's lined up nicely in the middle because if it's wonky, you'll end up walking in circles. Okay, so just press him on. And then you know what time it is now. Hammer time. Just hammer around the edge, and that is because we don't want it to scoop inwards and be concave. Um, so to get it secure in the middle, that's when we press it in a minute. But for the minute, for the meantime, we hammer just around the edge. So it kind of curves because that's the natural resting position of your foot anyway. All right, let's give it a press. Right, so what I just did there was trim off the excess material of the Ranger, uh, but it's far from over. We need to head over to the machine now, use the sanding bands just to give it that really nice, flat, smooth finish that you'd expect from a brand new shoe. So let's get to it. Okay, cool, so there is our sole repair. But I don't wanna let you look at that for too long because as I said in the beginning, we're turning our attention to the uppers and we're gonna show them a little bit of love now. Okay, so for our uppers, they are dry, 
dirty and faded. So we're just gonna use some saddle soap to get off all the old dirt so we can start from scratch with some, some conditioner. Uh, first, let's just pop these laces out. So now we've given him a good clean, we've gotten rid of all of the dirt, all of the rubbish and all of the old polish, it's ready to be conditioned or if we need to condition the uppers. So uh, same as skin, leather's porous, it's got pores and we want to get, we want to put oil, oils and moisture into the uppers so that it lasts a long time and stays supple. So what I've got here is the uh, Woli Creme Essential, really nice stuff, it seems to work really well as well. So what we're doing is just taking a clean rag getting it on there and then just working it into the uppers and you can see it moisturizing it instantly as we go so we want to make sure we get into every little crack that's dry and wants some attention And I think that'll just about do. And lastly, for the finishing touch, we're just gonna give it some oil. Just to give it that waxy protection and a very light shine, a sheen, if you will. And I reckon, get the laces back in there and we're done. Okay, so there we go. Job done. New Vibram units on our Timberlands. Lever midsoles and refurbish the uppers. Now, I'm very happy with that job and I think the customer's gonna like it as well. Now, uh, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, give us a thumbs up. It helps other people see this content. If you happen to be new, welcome. Subscribe to the channel. I'm doing new videos every week. And um, finally, if you're interested in having something repaired, get in touch with me on the Tring Shoe Repair and Key Shop Facebook page and uh, we can chat about your job. If you have anything you need to send to me, the address is in the description below. Please don't send me anything until we've spoken or else I won't know who you are or where the shoes have come from. So I will finish off by saying thanks very much for watching again and I'll catch you next time.